What's up, everybody? It is the Big Game Hunter here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Frogger the Great Quest. In the last episode, or part, or, however, I'm getting so confused with this stuff, I don't care. We made it through Joy Castle and started climbing its towers. In this episode, or part, I'm getting so confused with what I'm should call these nowadays. I'm just calling them parts from now on. We're going to continue on climbing the towers in hopes of finally stopping this madness and ending this nightmare of mine. And at first, I'm going to jump over a goblin because I feel like it. Alright, jump! Fortunately, we don't have to worry about him anymore because goblins are too stupid to jump. However, there's one right up here waiting for us. So we'll just ignore him and run like hell. Uh, still love this over dramatic music. Don't know why I like it so much. It's just really over dramatic. It's still really good. Again, the music in this game is probably the only aspect of it that's actually good, aside from the dark forest. And can I please get that? Please. Thank you. Well, you two fail at trying to stop one frog from going up the tower to stop. Actually, why are they in the tower? I don't know. I guess because they're part of the attack, but still. As I was saying, I do love the music in this game. The music, again, it's really good. I just wish they made the rest of this game that good. Or, hell, make the rest of the game at all good. Aside from the Dark Forest, because the Dark Forest is the only good level in this game. They really... I'm just saying right now, because this is pretty much the final exposition of my final thoughts of the game. They really could have made a good game, but... To th to this, it was just unfinished. Literally, the voice acting is not the worst I've heard, but it still makes me want to take a hammer to my head. Because of how bad it is. The levels, well, some parts, it can be good, like the Dark Forest. Again, I don't, praising that level, maybe. What was that? As I was saying. They, some of the levels could have been good, some of them were somewhat creative, and some were just plain and boring. Again, this is, could have been, this is a game that could have been good if, they, if the developers had taken the time, the thought, and hell, even the effort to actually do it. You can already tell that the best part of this is the music, again, but still, I can understand why this game does have some fans and... Ah, you were lying wait for me. <laughs> Stop. Name. Um. What the hell is he doing? Feet don't fail me now. Sorry. Don't know how to. The game won't let me. As I was saying, I can understand why some people like this game, but no, you shouldn't like this game. You should hate this game. You should find all these games, aside from mine, because mine is a rare edition, as in I'm being the first person at, yeah, I should also get a freaking award for finally being the first person in the world to do a successful Let's Play of this. I've, I mean, people, again, have only covered the first few levels of a Let's Play for this game. I am the first person living, breathing right now to do a full, successful Let's Play. Hell, the videos I have up right now, so far, although I'm... Actually, no, I've been taking the respect that this would just make this thing dated. But the, I'm the only person so far, I've actually put time, effort, and hell, I try to make this game much more appealing than it already is to you. I really... It's bad, I didn't really want to hate this game that much. I really thought this could have been a good game. But the developers decided to just make it lazy, repetitive, and... Just uninteresting, aside from the Dark Forest and the music. Again, that's just all I can say that this game is. Uninteresting and corny. The jokes are bad, the voice acting's bad, the controls are god awful, the camera is also bad. But it does not matter. But what does matter is the fact that we finally reach the top. No! What was that epic freak out? I was like, Bruh! but whatever. It is time for the final showdown with the general. 
that, whose name I forget almost immediately. <laughs> All right, where is it? Here it is. And prepare for one of the biggest plot holes in this game. I'm walking in like a boss. Oh, how can I stop this? Guard, cease him. Gee, you guys work out? Throw that monster out of your bag! Yes, ma'am! Alright, here we go. The final boss fight against the General of Lighten Industries, I'm calling him because I don't remember his full name. As I said, very, very cheap boss fight. He will immediately attack you. He uses this magic. Uh, you can only hit him. He will always miss you while running, so constantly keep on the move. However, you stop for a second, he will hit you. Uh, might as well try and throw an ice gem out, see if that will do anything against him. It did stop him. Again, he sounds like Harry Knowles. Again, Harry Knowles is the final boss of Frogger the Great Quest. Why am I somewhat not surprised? I don't know. I'm trying to... And he killed me. As I said, you're probably going to die against this guy once, maybe twice. But fortunately, the game drops you off right back up here. Just beat the living crap out of him like you've done with everything else in this game. No strategy whatsoever, just to avoid his magic, just keep moving, he will not hit you. He will soon summon the sword Grimbite. Yes, the sword is a name, and yes, it is alive. Grimbite is not that tough to avoid, all he does, uh, he just will follow you and take, try to take swings at you, sometimes charge at you, but moreover not, it won't matter, because, uh, man, the fight's just pretty much this, it beat the living crap out of him. Uh, if you were thinking about attacking Grimbite, don't bother. Grimbite is invincible. You cannot kill it. Just like mostly everything else in this game that seems to have a, t a name. I, I died again. That's just putting salt on the wound. He kept attacking me while I was... Um, dead. Come on! Can you please die for me, please? Come on! Come on, be a good general. You're almost done. I... I know they say I'm not allowed to hit people with glasses, but you know what? He threw the first punch. I think I should do it anyways. Hey, come on! You know what? Magic! I walked right into him and I died. I was like, I'm going super fast, Splat! His cheap magic attacks is really what will kill you. Grimbite, again, won't do much at all because, well, he's slow. Can we just kill you already, please? I don't remember having this much trouble fighting you. Unless I'm missing something. Still can't believe the plot hole of Fairy Frogman are getting captured. It doesn't show you. She's just there. The last time we saw her, she was fighting the witch. And we're done! Be defeated! You think you have won, but you only delay the inevitable. The princess is mine! The kingdom is mine! You have not seen the last of me! You've got a pretty high opinion of yourself, monkey butt! Serious issues. 
Braga, take out the crown! What? This is my prince? Oh, go on and kiss him, child! Oh, okay, fairy frog mother. Whoa! Oh, kiss her, Frogger! Uh, yeah, I got it. Princess, I've traveled far to humbly ask you to... <laughs> Come here, silly. I don't bite. face. But it doesn't matter, because it's over. I don't think so! <laughs> oh, I do think so. I think so a lot, because that's it. Let's Play Frog of the Great Quest is finally over. It has been a long time in coming, people. Finally, someone in the world has done a successful Let's Play of this nightmarish hellhole. I wanted to be... I am really thankful for be actually being the first person to do a successful Let's Play of this. Do you remember we couldn't get the Battle for Joy Castle? That sounds pretty epic, but it, really, the picture of it isn't. But, yeah. All that's left to do now is pretty much just show the credits and that's it. Alright. View collection. View the last two photos. The bio. You can read the bios if you want. And with that, we will be done. Princess Joy. Ah! Ah! The eyes, the face, everything. She looks like one of those dolls that you see in horror films that gets possessed and kills somebody. She looks like a mist between Alice in Wonderland and one of those dolls that I just talked about. <laughs> well, I needed something for my nightmares tonight, so there's your nightmare fuel for this video, people. And, well, Grimbite. That actually looks pretty cool. I will not lie, Grimbite does look cool. Much better than his in-game sprite. So as the general's personal sword, who, however, defected to us when... Uh, don't know how is the key to Frogger's success or failure when fighting the general when all he did was just take false swipes at us, but whatever. Anyways, let's just continue on, view the epilogue, and go to the credits. And yeah, sure, I'll save the game. Slot 6. Complete. Oh, the credits come before the epilogue. Alright, so, final thoughts. God, I hate this game. This is one of the worst games I've ever played in my life. If not, the worst game I'm ever gonna let's play in my life. The plot is boring, the characters are forgettable, the controls are so bad, it makes you wish that they actually put something that I like to call effort into a game. 
I mean, this is this game was made back in 2001. Platforming was getting good. I mean, look at Mario 64, Banjo Kazooie. Hell, look at Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter, which were both out on the same console. This game, this game right here, really, really pushed my limits as to how much bullcrap I can really take for one game. If it wasn't for the the bad writing, the bad the bad jokes, the bad voice acting, the bad controls, and pretty much the bad everything else, this could have been a good game! I'm not lying! Although, Steve McClure, or whoever, or however your last name is said, thank you for making such a very good soundtrack to a otherwise doomed game. As in... Well, not as in, but still. The project... Dennis Lee, screw you for making this. But other than that, nothing left to say. Special thanks my arse. Well, let's see special thanks is going through. I think... That's gonna do it. So, with said and done... As soon as this loads out and the epilogue plays, Let's Play Frog of the Great Quest will finally be completed for the first time in this generation. Or any generation. T-take out... They thanked a takeout food delivery? Wow. Fail on their part. I feel bad for Steve Rohde. Sorry that this hellhole of a game was in memory of you. Oh, he did the voice for all those characters. Oh, well, he did have a good voice. so confident that they were going to get a sequel to this game. Ha ha ha. Wrong!